Hi, I'm Marilyn, the two-tip lady, and I love to help make your life more simple. Have you ever discovered a patch of mushrooms in a field and collected a couple of arm loads, like I did the other day? I'm absolutely fascinated with these white snowboil-like fungi that spring up so quickly from what was just a week ago super dry ground, without a patch of green. But a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine, and even what looks like rock-hard dirt, these mushrooms suddenly burst forth. Strangely enough, you mightn't believe it, but it's true. I wouldn't eat a mushroom if you paid me to. No siree, no way. Well, unless, of course, I'm visiting your place for a meal and you put them on my plate, because my mama taught me to be polite and eat with a smile no matter what resides on my plate. I'll admit, though, that at times I have swallowed them whole just to get rid of them fast, while drinking as much juice as I could to kind of wash them down and while retaining my sense of honour in eating what was put in front of me. I have fun sharing my gleanings with those who love to eat them. The people I give them to usually think I'm crazy collecting them when I won't eat them. But perhaps they haven't known the joy of wandering along and pouncing on a patch of mushrooms and picking them with much glee. And this brings me to a story. Once upon a time, very long ago, when I was a little girl in New Zealand, we would sometimes stay at a batch called The Hut on the Pariora River near Timaru in the South Island, built by my grandparents. We'd often go wandering in the lush fields near the river where we'd find mushrooms as big as dinner plates. Well, OK, perhaps you want to challenge me about their size. Maybe you can. I was just a little tacker, but that's how big I remember them to be. I haven't done a total accuracy check with Big Brother, who would definitely know. Oh, the fun, the delight as we'd race each other to pounce on the latest find. But my delight would turn to misery soon after returning back to the hut. Why? Because Grandma would often cook a salmon fished out of the river and happily fry up the mushrooms at the same time as just to make a feast. But I, poor dear little me, would sit outside in the cold sometimes freezing cold, holding my nose and just managing to keep my last meal in place while she cooked and while the rest of our family joyfully ate. For a little girl like me who'd never eaten meat or fish in her life, the smell was just too much. Oh, too much for me, and it still is. That's why I love collecting these delicacies and I love giving them away. So I'm wondering, do you want some mushrooms? Come and visit. I'll collect all I can find and you can have the lot. So now here are my two tips for today to make your life more simple and happy. Tip number one, do something you love to do. Tip number two, share your joy. Just try this today, go on. Will this make your life more simple, less complicated, more fun? Try these two tips and see. That's it today from the Two Tip Lady who loves to help make your life more simple and happy.